Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On today's video, we are going to start our uh, work on our farrowing stall here. This is, this is what I call the old tractor shed. This is part of our pig pasture. The pigs have access to it when they're on the south pasture. Right now, they're on the north pasture because that's where the sun is. Uh, but we're going to get this ready for farrowing. Uh, I'm going to make a, a couple stalls here that can accommodate two pigs. Uh, I'm going to take this... Uh, Actually, going to take this back wall down. That's just a temporary makeshift thing. Um, not too pretty. I want to get some support posts put in here for corrals and uh, get that ready. So that's what we're going to do. We'll take the tractor. We're going to take this wall down, and then we'll use the post hole digger to drill some holes in the ground and set some posts. Here we go. <laughs> Has it hit you in the face? <laughs>
More dirt in it. The pole was just bending. What is that? Um, we're working on the farrowing barn here and uh, if you've watched the channel you know that it sometimes takes me a couple days to get the pigs to move across the electric line well today they were eager to do it so 
Thinking I'd have to wait about three days to get them over, I tried to lure them over and they all walked over. Okay, that's the way it works. So now they're going to be standing in our work area, but that's the way it is. You work around pigs. You got pigs to deal with. I'm going to put up our uh, corral walls and start putting up our siding to get this weathered in more. Okay, so a couple videos ago, I'll link to it here, we had asked uh, your all's opinion on how to lay out this farrowing barn for two pigs to farrow. And I had had a plan, uh, a little more complicated. You guys, uh, that's what I love about comments from y'all. It, uh, it was a simplified plan. It makes sense. So door here and door here and then walls all around and divider down the center so we can have this side farrowing and this side farrowing. So that, that was the plan. That's why we started laying it out that way. Well, I only have one pig that's going to farrow now, and that's a whole different story. I'm not even going to get into that yet. So we're going to, instead of building two, we're just going to build one for now. And we're actually just going to use the back part. That still will allow me to come up here, park in here, put some equipment in here if I need to this winter. And, uh, and still have a farrowing stall over here for uh, Merida. So that's what we're going to do is work on this half. So where I'm standing is the halfway point of the shed. And we're going to build everything, close it in this side. So that's our plan. So we got to tear down some of these temporary walls and put up our new stuff and work around pigs, of course. So the plan is, um, we'll have these corral walls, obviously extra high for pigs, <laughs> but we thought since we're building it, let's go ahead and build it right in case we get something else in here, um, like giraffes or whatever. So uh, I'm going to do four sides. So the side here Kelly's working on, we'll put another board there. Obviously we'll close that in. I'm going to tear this makeshift wall out. And then we're going to come here. So this spot betwixt this post and that wall will be the gate. And that gate will swing that way. Be mounted here on that post. We'll swing in. And that's where we'll let uh, Mare to be. We'll lock her up uh, prior to farrowing. And then the other pigs, I don't think... Merida's one of the alphas, so I don't think she's going to try to get away from them. Um, so it, it may leave them, we'll see, they may be able to stay on that side, so we'll be having some shelter, we'll see, but we're going to lock her up for good as soon as we get this built, because she's, uh, well, probably not as soon as we get it built, we may let her go a week, we're going to lock her up about a week and a half early, but I can bring her water and food up here, of course. But uh, obviously we're not just going to have uh, these corral walls, the, the big thing, what we're milling all the wood for is we're going to side do vertical board siding on all sides here, kind of close it all in. Bit dusty in there. 